It is to talk, it's to say something. Besides that, if you look at the word Pesach, break the word in half, you know what will come out of it? Pe, Sach. Pe is a mouth, and Sach is talking. So we have a Pe that talks, talks too much. This is Pesach, but if I correct my Dibur, then you know what I'm able to do? Who's the, the evil character in the story? Paro. Take the letters of Paro, switch them around, it's Pe Ra. All the Ra, all the bad that comes out of my mouth. That's why it's called Lashon Hara. Why, why Lashon Hara? I'm not talking about, I can talk about other things, than, than they're, they're not Ra, they're not bad, but the Pe, the Lashon is Ra. It's talking about something evil. So if I do the correction, then I elevate it to what's called a Pesach, and I correct what's called Pera, Paro. So we see a, 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 a great connection between that. And when I know how to zip my mouth, this is the victory over my Paro. Last week we had a class. If you miss it, you should definitely go online and see it. And I'm talking about how Paro is this power. Paro comes with the same letters of Hafra'a, something that disturbs me. I constantly have disturbance in my life. Paro is that power that comes to disturb me. I want to sit down now and learn, the phone will ring. I want to come and do something, I want to accept Shabbat an hour earlier or ten minutes earlier, bid you somebody will throw something and the whole floor is full of a mess and now I have to clean it and Paro knows how to come and to create these little hafraot, disturbing. So I need to know how to, to avoid it. So when I know how to control my mouth, I have a victory over Paro. I'm winning Paro. Now, <clears throat> like I told you, just by refraining from eating chametz, that's in itself a huge tikkun for Lashon Hara and for cheating and lying, everything that comes out with my mouth. So I need to take all that into consideration. Now, how is that connected to the tribe? We, have, we said the tribe is Yehuda. Yehuda represents the Malchut. The, the kingdom, and also that he represents the leadership. Here lies the, the, the secret, so to say. Because when I talk, you know what I do? I'm, I'm uh, revealing my inside. I can take my desire or my thoughts and I can actually translate it and give it out. I, I, I don't know the word in English, but in Hebrew it's called lehabia, to to maybe to present, to, to, to show. When I want to, I have an idea in my head, or if I have a will or a desire, express, you know, yeah, that's a good word. I have an idea or something going on, how do I express myself with my speech? So the book comes, the speech comes from a very deep place. Now, 